My name is Rod Gimbel. I'm a uh, clinical cardiac electrophysiologist from Knoxville, Tennessee in the United States. And uh, I presented today on um, cryptogenic stroke and whether or not uh, cryptogenic stroke might be evaluated by prolonged monitoring using insertable loop recorders and what uh, implications that has for clinical practice. Uh, the background of this is that uh, 25 uh, to 30 percent of all strokes uh, don't appear to have any clear uh, etiology after an extensive in-hospital workup. And it would appear that at least some uh, percentage of those uh, patients uh, may have atrial fibrillation that is not detected because it's often unrecognized or uh, the patient doesn't feel it or there may not be enough monitoring done to the, uh, to the patient. The current recommendations recommend 24 hours of monitoring, but it's very clear that many of these patients have uh, silent and unrecognized atrial fibrillation that may play a role in the generation of their uh, stroke. Um, so it, it's been suggested that uh, extensive monitoring, uh, serial Holter monitors, 21-day event monitors, and even insertable loop recorders may capture a higher rate of atrial fibrillation, and that may lead to a change in the management going from aspirin to Coumadin. Uh, the question that I raised is uh, whether or not um, you might find the atrial fibrillation, but the atrial fibrillatory burden is in fact so low that you'd be reluctant to initiate uh, Coumadin, switching from aspirin to Coumadin, because we really don't have the clear data that uh, suggests that when you have a very low um, atrial fibrillatory burden in an event where the stroke took place and three months later a brief episode of atrial fibrillation took place, how do we know that those are causal elements that, in other words, the small episode of atrial fibrillation did in fact cause the stroke? And so then until we uh, answer that question in well-conducted randomized clinical uh, trials, perhaps uh, we might look for the um, atrial fibrillation, but at this point it's data that we don't clearly know what to do with.